Welcome back to the studio. I thought I'd share a fun little painting that I finished this morning. Uh, I have actually painted this scene before. I took this uh, photo reference that I'm using for this piece a couple of years ago, and I've painted this scene uh, with a very warm palette. That painting is actually at a gallery in Michigan that I belong to. But I think that it's really fun and it can be really educational to paint the same scene in multiple ways. So I decided to try this piece again with a much cooler palette. I'm working on a piece of UART and I've created my own underpainting with ink, which I really love to do. I'm working with a very analogous palette as well as a very complementary palette. I decided to lay this piece in with a lot of violets ranging from blue violet all the way up to a very red violet. And then I'm also using a very yellow, uh, orangey yellow and that will, of course, really complement all of the violets that I'm putting in. I really wanted to convey a sense of early morning on this commute where everything is still pretty dark, but the sun is just starting to peak over those mountains. So everything is really kind of hazy, I love that, trying to recreate that look. Starting to work in my background. In this type of a piece, I do like to get my sky in fairly quickly, especially because it's the lightest area of the piece. And I don't want all of that pigment falling down onto my darker values below. If it did, I can correct it, but why correct something if you don't have to? I really love laying in trees. It's just so fun for me. Putting in those sky holes behind the, the trees on the left. Really starting to dapple in some different colors in the sky. Figuring out as I go what those colors will be. I love being able to create with a mixture of very neutral and very chromatic colors. And that's really what I've done in this piece. Really kind of rotating back between very muted violets and very chromatic violets in my trees. Starting to put in the really fun part, which are those um, those vehicles, the truck, um, just as you can see, I just laid in the big bed of that truck and kind of working all over the piece. I like working all over a painting um, as much as I possibly can. It's easy sometimes to get stuck in a particular place and you, that will lead to overworking uh, and also just getting really too focused on one area and then you're not looking at the painting as a whole. Because I'm working in such an analogous palette with all of these violet tones, when I put in something like a warmer gray, like I just did um, in the barrier area between the freeway, between the two roads, it really shows up as much warmer. So if you looked at that color um, on its own, it might just look very, very gray, but here it almost looks green because colors always depend on what's next to them. Here I'm really having fun laying in, starting to lay in some of those uh, lights on the vehicles. And I'm starting, as you can see, with uh, darker violets, dark, darker reds, um, and I'll work up to the bright, bright yellows of those lights. 
which are really going to pop um, because they are now uh, because they're the complement of the violet. So starting to lay those in, it's so fun. <laughs> the best part, all of the little highlights and accents at the end of a piece. You'll see in a minute here that I'm using my finger to smudge uh, a little bit of those lights. I'm doing that to not only um, break an edge of the lights, like right there, but also because the vehicles are moving and I want them to appear like they're moving. So by creating a little bit of a smudge, it really helps the viewer feel like there's movement in the piece. Thanks for joining me. I really had fun painting this this morning. If you would like to come visit me on Patreon, you'll see this entire piece put together with much more detailed commentary on how I made it work. We have a lot of fun over there. I hope you'll come check it out. I'll see you soon.